Seek him with all your heart. Seek him and you will find him. Seek the Lord. Give due diligence. Cry out to him when life flips you upside down and makes you lose your equilibrium. Cry out to God when you don't get what's going on and you think God is punishing you, don't run from him, run to him. Ask him to help you through it. Ask him to show you how he works in our lives through scripture and it will stop you from giving up so quickly. It will stop you from constantly starting that pity party that you tend to like to join when you want to the Lord don't love me life is hard I want to run away Mm -mm. sorry Charlie Mm -mm. that ain't God that's you (laughs) and it's you because you're still emotionally scarred. (laughs) And the more scarred you are, the more you tend to do that. But the more God has time, the more time you give him, the more attention you give him to put you back together again, the less often you fall into that self-pity mode. (laughs) the less often you'll get indignant when certain trials arise in your life. The less often you'll get impatient. Mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to remember this scripture, so give me a second, I'm old. Tribulation worketh patience. Patience, experience. And experience, hope. And hope makes not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. Tribulation worketh patience. Tribulation is light. It's just light. But God. And with God, you can have all the patience in the world. But when you're growing, you find I mean, it, it, we spend all our lives trying to gain more and more patience because more and more of life happens to us. And with experience, you have hope. And to me, this is my, this is my way of turning it around. It's a cycle. With more hope you have, the more patience you have. I mean, tribulation works patience. Patience works experience. Experience works hope and hope works patience (laughs) more patience (laughs) anyway that's just my twist but be encouraged because god is going to constantly help you